What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another Photoshop tutorial for you and we're going to continue to work down all the panels and this video is going to be about the styles panel. Real quick before we do, if you're new to the channel and these videos help you out, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Also, at any time if you got any questions, just put them in the comments below. I should be able to answer it as soon as I can, or maybe even one of the other viewers will see your question and go ahead and answer it for you before I even get to it. With all that, let's hop right into it. We got the styles panel. First, if you don't see it anywhere and you can't get to it, you're going to want to come up to the Windows menu, go down to Styles, and click it, and it should pop up. Alright, so before we actually break down the panel itself, I just want to explain to you what a style is. So there's a bunch of ways to get to this, but if you come to a layer, all right, so we're going to click on this text layer and then we can double click off to the right. Don't double click on the name or the thumbnail just in this empty space right here. And then that will open up the layer style panel. Now there's a lot of different options you can change or add. Uh, and I break all this down in my layer style FX video. I'll put a link in the description. But basically it's just a style. And you can add this to text or shapes or even other layer types. And each one of these has settings that you can change and fine tune however you want. But once you get all the settings that you want and you create a new style, that's what's going to be saved in here. So all these are different settings in that layer style dialog box, right? So if I already click this one, you can get this effect if you do exactly the same bevel and emboss and gradient overlay that whoever made this preset used. And if you click this, you're going to see it's different things change over here. So that's what a style is. So let's go ahead and break down the panel itself. First you got the search box and you can just type in a style and then find it easier. All right, next you got your recently used styles. This is great for if you're working on a project, you don't have to keep going through all your whole folders and find the style that you want. You can just click the most recent ones and it's just going to be easier to get to. Then we got the actual library or collection of styles in here. So if I collapse all these, you might not have nothing in here. And don't worry if you don't, because I'm going to show you how to get a whole bunch of free ones in a second. But this is just your library or your collection. You can separate them into folders or groups. Click and drag to take it out of the folder. You can double click on them to change the name. You can rearrange them however you want. You can rename the groups if you double click on the group. You can move the groups just like the styles themselves. So that's the basic gist of it. And then if you come down here to the bottom, if you want to add a new group, so let's collapse these. If I want to add a new one, you just click right here. You can name it. Let's just name it test. And there it is. Then if you want to add a new style, you can click this button and whatever layer you're selected on over here, if you have layer effects added to it, then you can name it. You can include the layer effects or not. If you don't, obviously, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to have the style on it. So you'll probably want that checked. You can include the layers blending options. And that is, if I X this out, you see we got blend modes. You can add to the layer itself. You can either choose to include those or not. And then you can choose to add it to your library. Now this is your library panel over here. And you can save all types of things here. You can save swatches, styles, patterns, gradients, shapes. Um, you can save just regular images. 
there's a lot of stuff you can do with your library then once you got everything you click OK and then it'll add your style here and then lastly down here we got the trash can you can drag a style over to the trash can to delete it and so next we got the hamburger menu now some of these things I already showed you you can do it in a different way but if you click new style preset it's the exact same thing as if you click the plus button down here by the trash can and if you click new style group it's the exact same thing as if you click the folder you can rename or delete a style if you can't click on them that's because you don't have a style selected so you're gonna wanna click on one make sure you got the blue outline and then you'll come and you can rename it or delete it you don't really have to use this because you can just double click on it or slide it to the trash can next we got the view options that's going to be from text only all the way down to large list and you can pick one of these so if we click text only it's only text you don't see a preview of it if we go to small thumbnail it's going to have a smaller image or sample of it large thumbnail that's what I was using and then small list that means it's got the name and a small picture of the thumbnail and then large list it's just the same thing just a little bigger then these two if you uncheck them then it'll take away the search bar and the recent styles I always keep these on though then after that if you don't have any styles there's two ways you can get free styles you can append the default styles if I click this click OK it's gonna add the basics natural fur and fabric ones and I'll show you what they look like these are just a couple free ones they got okay you can also click legacy styles and more and that's what I have up here and this is the one that has a whole bunch of them you got gel glass grunge chrome metals there's a lot of them there's hundreds of them guys so if you don't have any styles definitely do that then you can import a style and this is if you got a file on your computer with styles saved you can come here find your file click on it and it's gonna upload it into your panel and obviously same thing export selected styles uh, if it's not clickable you have to make sure either hit a group make sure it's highlighted selected or click an actual style if you want to click multiple hold control select multiple right then you can come here and go to export selected styles and then last but not least you can close the panel or close the whole tab group I never click these I like my panel set up how I got it like I said this is how to use the panel itself if you want a, a more in-depth tutorial on how to actually make a style with this dialog box here definitely check out my other video and if you're just getting into Photoshop I definitely recommend learning the blend if sliders it's in this dialog box under blending options on the bottom it's called blend if and this is gonna get your Photoshop game definitely to the next level there's a lot of things you can do with these sliders right that's about it if you got any questions or comments don't forget to comment down below also subscribe if these videos help you out thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one